Hey everybody, welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. 10 minutes at a time. <laughs> I just love that opener. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Alright, I, I know I didn't make a video yesterday, but I was kind of just little bits here and there, doing some other stuff too. But I did get a coat of primer on everything. And they don't look bad for their first coat, but there sure is a lot of pencil marks there. <laughs> you guys know how that goes. Especially that first coat, man. And uh, then I ran out, ran out of Bondo. Try to go get some more. These others didn't turn out that bad. Remember, these flaps is already pretty smooth. There's just these ends. And they're looking pretty good. Had to do a little filling on the aileron. But it's looking pretty good. I think we'll sand this. Sand this. That's what it's saying. It's saying that. And uh, then it's ready for their last coat of primer. Then I'll put the panel lines on them. And uh, the rudder, my vertical stab, it, it looks a little better. It ain't as bad as that elevator. <laughs> But on 757 seat warmer said this was is a uh, intake duct for the cooling mechanism for the hydraulics back here the and uh, uh, cooling for the hydraulic mechanism on the drone chute and the rudder and something else he said I think well that's what that is that's a vent so I think I'll bondo that up around that edge a little bit because it looks a little rounded on the model you know rather than just a square edge so I was thinking I might have to put a light on there but uh, evidently not so but that's what I got going on today I'm just going to do some priming and some filling some good TV today <laughs> Uh, on the History Channel, they got World War II in HD. Man, they're showing some good stuff, man. That was a wild war. Them old boys fought, you know. What? Now this elevator. This is actually the last of my Evercoat. What I'm mixing up here. Because I'm just going to hit that whole thing. This stuff's kind of thickened up a little bit. But I think what I'll do now, is go fast. I'm going to mix a little bit of my thin. All the to with this, my thinner bond though. I'm back up a little bit. That's it. I'm going to thin this a little bit with this bond though. Thing it'd just be easier to do this whole dang thing than sit there and make 40 little pencil marks. These are 
kind of rough. Don't want to really look like it, but when I was marking with a pencil, I took the parts outside, you know. And that, I mean, they look okay in the air, but you take them outside and woof the. <laughs> That's one of the northern words. Woof the. I got an uncle from North Dakota. Always used to say that. <laughs> For you guys that didn't know. Alright. This bond got to go. Needs a little bit more right there. It has to be built up just a little. This bondo is kind of a either you can spread bondo or you can't. <laughs> you know. I had a buddy of mine working in a body shop. Man, you should see that guy spread Bondo. He was the Bondo King, man. He taught me a lot, but either you can or you can't. And if you can't, it means you got a lot of sanding to do. <laughs> <coughs> I know some of them old boys that can't, trust me. All of that big old ball of bondo. I figured half that would go to waste. place to be in 1942 or 3 whenever they was there. Did you guys watch them universe shows last night? Well, there were some good ones, man. That one was called uh, At the Edge of the Universe. That was the best movie I think I ever watched. It was like computer generated, you know, like he was in a spaceship going through the universe, you know, showing you everything all the way to the edge of the universe and then out of the universes, you know, looking down on them. And man, it was just amazing what's out there. Just amazing. And they're really just finding it all out, you know. They're building a new telescope where they're really going to be able to see that stuff. That just. It'd be amazing. Well, I hope you guys got to see that video. I didn't realize you was looking down so much. I turned down at my feet. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll get it better next time on the next episode of Bob TV. Brought to you in Philovision. Without the drama.